In February, I ran what might have been one of the first studies anywhere looking into long haulers' reactions to the COVID vaccine. And the results got picked up uh, by media outlets all over the world, including the New York Times, the New Scientist, and the Times in the UK. It caused quite a stir. But it was only a preliminary study looking at responses to the first jab. Might there be a difference once people have had their second one too? Let's take a look. I surveyed 1,104 long haulers drawn from several international long COVID support groups on Facebook and the Body Politic group on Slack. Just over half were from the UK, with the remainder from the US, Canada and Europe. This group were self-selecting and self-reporting, and demographically a representation of the social media platforms involved. But these factors shouldn't affect the data too much, um, as these vaccine questions were added as part of a larger study on recovery generally. Respondents were 82% female. The more we've learnt about long COVID, the more this seems to be representative of the group rather than the sampling method, and potentially give us insights into the probability of long COVID being an immune-related condition. Age-wise, there was a widespread with a bulge in the middle here in the 35 to 44 and 45 to 54 categories. So as of the week ending the 22nd of March, the majority had still not had a vaccine shot. 329 had had one dose and just 60 had had both. Small sample here, but we can compare the two groups. Almost half had had the Pfizer vaccine, with 44% taking the AstraZeneca version and only 4.6% having had the Moderna jab. Let's take a look at the results. First up, how are people doing more than two weeks after having had their first shot? These results broadly support the findings in my first survey. The red and blue sectors here of feeling slightly or much worse, outnumbered by the green and purple of those who felt either slightly or much better. The largest group though feeling that they were back to their long COVID baseline. Now, initial reaction to the second dose of the vaccine can be more severe than to the first, as the body now has a degree of adaptive immunity which will kick into action quickly alongside the innate immune response, and that can produce some of the uh, heavy symptoms that people have in the few days after taking the second jab. Anecdotally, this seems to be more the case for Pfizer, which incidentally make up 50 of the 60 responses here, the remainder being Moderna. People simply haven't got to the 12-week mark with AstraZeneca yet to have this data available. But what does our data say? Well, that anecdotal Pfizer second jab shocker doesn't seem to be much in evidence here. Yes, you're twice as likely to be much worse than much better in the first two weeks post that second jab, but overall, there's as many saying that this time round the initial reaction was better as there were saying it was worse. And the largest group here said it was basically the same. Basically, looking at this with Pfizer or Moderna, you've got a one in three chance of your initial reaction to the second shot being either the same, better or worse as the reaction to the first shot. So nothing major to worry about. And what about those who had their second jab more than two weeks ago? Well, of our 1,104 long haulers, this only applied to 41 of them. And the results are largely similar to those more than two weeks after the first jab. However, uh, while the proportion of people feeling worse than their pre-vaccine baseline remains the same at 22%, the much worse group has shrunk, people seemingly moving into the slightly worse category, which has grown. And the proportion of people feeling better has grown. Both those feeling slightly better and much better, seemingly stealing some of those who'd previously occupied the middle no change category. What are we to make of this? The first vaccine reaction survey I published on this channel, I hope allayed many people's anxieties about taking the vaccine. And if there were any remaining anxieties about taking the second dose, given some of the anecdotal stories out there, I don't think there's anything in this data to put people off. Yes, we're still very early here. The second dose group is a small sample, and it really only consists of Pfizer and Moderna at this stage. But given that AstraZeneca is said to be better tolerated on a second dose, albeit anecdotally, um, I see no reason why it should be any different uh, for long haulers. Full results from my recovery study itself to come in my next film. Until then, look after yourselves. Until next time. <laughs>